Hey guys, this is Big Boss from MGSZone.com and in today's video I'm going to show you guys the 5 CQC tactics you need to know to play this game. These tactics are called Disarm, Restrain, Interrogate, Throw and Pummel. So you need to know these keywords to fully master these tricks. Now let's start with this guy. Let's start with disarming this guy. That's my favorite uh, CQC tactic. So let's demonstrate. And there we go. We grab the gun and we aim at him and now he's being held up. And let's quickly uh, restrain this guy by using the R2 button. So this is called restraining an enemy. And now I'm dragging a restrained enemy. So knowing these key words will help you a lot to understand this video much better. Once an enemy is restrained, you can press the L1 button to bring up the interrogation menu. And then you can actually tell the person to give you some intel by saying spit it out. Or you can actually tell them to call some backup by saying call him, which is something I have yet to use. Moving forward, also you have the option to choke an enemy when you have them restrained. So you have to repeatedly press the R2 button to choke an enemy. And once you choke the enemy, the enemy gets knocked out and they fall flat on the floor. Uh, let's do that right now. Let's choke this guy. And he falls on the floor. And then you can actually press R2 to kick this guy. And that's going to actually wake him up and he's going to start to get up. So let's do that. Kick the guy with the R2. And he's trying to get up. He will get up. And we can quickly restrain him again if we so desire. Pretty fantastic. You can you know, knock people out, uh, wake them up, and re-restrain them as much as you please. And the final option is to kill the enemy. Press the triangle button on the PS4 uh, controller, and that's going to kill the enemy. And then you can actually move on. Let's move on and find another guy. Let's go after this guy right over here. I'm going to show you some other tricks that you can use as far as CQC tactics go. Remember, disarm, restrain, hold up, Pummel, throw. Let's sneak up behind him, and I'm going to disarm this guy very quickly. Boom, boom. There we go. We got his gun, and he's going to raise his arms. Now, I want to show you something, guys. Um, when you actually hold somebody up, as I'm doing right now, if you're in front of this person and you let the gun go, he's going to slowly lower his hands, and he's going to try to actually attack you. So watch his hands. He's going to try to lower them, and quickly I raise my gun again. And if I let my gun go, he's going to slowly try to lower and try to use one of his weapons that he has on his belt to uh, shoot you or stab you with the knife that he has right over there. So be very careful. If you're in front of the guy, make sure you have the gun pointed at him at all times. So let's restrain this guy and do the same thing from the behind. I'm going to hold this guy up from the backside. You can transition from a restraint to a holdup. You, you let him go and you simply point the gun at him. So let's uh, demonstrate that as well. Basically, you want to release the uh, R2 button and then quickly press the L2 button. And there we go. And now, once you hold up any person from the back or the front, you have a couple options. Uh, you can press L1, and that's going to bring up the interrogation menu. And you know, you already seen what that can do. So you can actually tell the person to give you some intel. You can tell the person to get down, or you can tell the person to call for some backup. Alrighty, so let's hold them up again and take a look at that menu really quick. Press L1 and there you go. I'm going to tell this guy to get down. I'm going to show you something really quick. So let's say get down. He's going to get on the floor. Now once somebody's on the floor, you can kick them by pressing R2. Okay, But once you kick a person that you just told to get down, they actually faint. So there you go. So he just lost consciousness. I can wake him up again by actually kicking him, kicking him one more time by pressing R2. And this allows me to let somebody get up even after I tell them to get down. So you tell the person to get down, you kick them once, they get knocked out, you kick them one more time and they actually get up. And then you can quickly restrain them again. And that was a throw by the way. So you can do a forward throw, a back throw, a side throw. You can even throw people uh, towards objects if you're close by to a stone or maybe on the edge of a cliff. Now, if you want to throw somebody, you have to first restrain them, right? You restrain the person, 
then what you do is you use the L3 button to pull the person to any direction you want, backside, front side, left or right, and then you release and re-tap the R2 button. And that actually throws the person into the direction that you please by using the L3 uh, stick. Now if you shoot somebody on their hand or their leg, it actually wakes them up after being knocked out. It's a little weird because you would expect them to be in pain, but it doesn't work that way for some reason. And then you can restrain them one more time. Now, by the way, I'm going to show you guys how to disarm a person that seemingly doesn't have a weapon. So this guy actually has a weapon. He's got a little handgun. So I'm going to initiate a CQ CQC sequence and then press L1 immediately. And that's going to actually disarm this guy's hand weapon. Even though he doesn't have it in his hand, it works this way. And then you can point at the guy with the gun. When you let the button go, when you let the uh, L2 button go, the gun drops on the floor. You can pick it up, but that's a way to disarm the person as well, okay? So let's do that one more time. I'm going to do it one more time. Initiate CQC, press L1, disarm the guy with his uh, handgun, okay? And then you can point at him and hold him up. Be careful. There we go. Now let's just throw this guy into the ocean by using the throw tactic. There we go. So if you're close to the edge and you pull the L3 towards that direction, it's going to actually throw the guy or slam him in towards an object. Okay, so let's uh, now go and harass that last guy over there on the other side of this prison compound. And I want to do something a little different with this guy. Let's sneak up to him and just hold him up just like that. If you sneak up behind somebody and press L2 that raises the gun and holds them up on the spot. So let's get this guy and drag him around and then I'm going to show you guys how to do pummeling. So pummeling actually stands for CQC combat. So when you pummel somebody you basically beat them up and they get knocked out. So I'm going to show you how that one works. It works with the um, with the sequential pressing of the R2 button and it hits the person five times in a row and the person gets knocked out. And it's a beautiful and quick animation. And of course you can kick the guy, wake him up and abuse him all over again. This is a great way to learn this game. Just grab one guy and just harass and abuse him all day long, kick the guy off, you know, knock him out, wake him up, re-grab him, restrain him, uh, hold him up and do everything that you please. Alrighty. So let me slam this guy on the floor by using the throw tactic. Boom. Looks beautiful. I'm going to shoot his one of his legs, the knee. And then he's going to try to get up. Okay, let me shoot him one more time, see what happens. Boom. Oops, looks like he died. Well, since he's dead, let me show you guys one more thing. You can grab this guy, you can carry this guy to the edge of the cliff. And by pressing R2, just throw him into the water. Fantastic. And there he goes. Okay, so that is the end of this video, guys. Remember the five keywords, all right? Disarm, restrain, hold up, pummel, and throw. Okay, thank you for watching this video, guys. Check MGSZone.com if you want to. And also subscribe and we're going to be uploading more and more videos as time goes by.